When you think of war in the animal kingdom, you probably imagine lions versus hyenas. But in the insect world, the most brutal battle is fought in the air, between bees and wasps. They look alike, they fly alike, but one is a peaceful pollinator, the other is a relentless hunter, and when they clash, it's savage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of nature's fiercest rivalries. And by the end of this video, you'll never look at a picnic table the same way again. Bees are the engineers of nature. They pollinate over 70% of crops we eat, build complex wax hives, and live in matriarchal societies led by queens. Honeybees in particular are hyper-organized. Each bee has a job, foragers, guards, nurses, and even undertakers. And while bees are generally peaceful, don't underestimate them. When their hive is threatened, they attack in swarms, willing to die for the colony, literally. That's right, a honeybee stinger gets stuck in your skin, they die shortly after stinging, but that sting, it hurts. And when 50 bees do it, it's war. Wasps, on the other hand, are built for battle. They're leaner, meaner, and, well, they don't lose their stingers. That means they can sting you again and again. Most wasps are predators, hunting spiders, caterpillars, even bees. Some, like yellow jackets, even scavenge, becoming aggressive late in the summer when sugar levels drop. And here's the twisted part. Some parasitic wasps lay eggs inside other insects, so their larvae can eat the host alive. Brutal? Absolutely. But in nature, it works. These two species don't just live side by side, they fight over territory, food, and survival. Wasps will raid beehives, killing bees and stealing honey, but bees aren't defenseless. They've developed one insane defense tactic, the heat ball. A swarm of bees surrounds the wasp and vibrates their muscles to raise the temperature, literally cooking the wasp alive. It's a sacrifice, but it saves the hive. Let's break it down. When it comes to diet, bees go for nectar and pollen, while wasps eat insects, nectar, and even carrion. For stinging, a bee can only sting once and then, well, it dies. But a wasp, it can sting multiple times. Socially, bees are highly social, but wasps can be both social and solitary. Their bodies are different too. Bees are fuzzy and round, while wasps are more sleek and shiny. And their purpose? Bees are all about pollination and making honey, and wasps focus on hunting and pest control. So even though they look kinda similar, they're actually built for completely different lives. Bees grow the food chain, and wasps manage it. So, who wins in a bee versus wasp war? Well, it honestly depends on the context. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, the wasp's agility and sting usually win out, but when it comes to defending a colony, bees fight in numbers, and with strategy. But here's the real twist, we actually need both. Bees keep the ecosystem alive through pollination. Wasps, on the other hand, control pests naturally, which reduces our need for pesticides. They're not enemies, they're two sides of the same survival story. So next time you see a bee or a wasp buzzing nearby, don't swat it, watch, respect, and remember, there's a war going on above your head, and it's been raging for millions of years. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want more deep dives into the wild world of insects. Let us know below Team Bee or Team Wasp.